Three years ago, between the family of a deceased man and a funeral parlour, has led to the creation of the state's first Buddhist burial ground. Today, that very burial ground was given an official blessing. ABC reporter Chris McLaughlin explains how it all came about. Not making noise to wake the dead, but instead to venerate them. A Buddhist burial area is the latest addition to Enfield Memorial Park Cemetery. Certainly with the changing cultural uh, elements of our community, particularly around Enfield and this side of Adelaide, the Buddhist and the Hindu communities, we are working very closely with them to meet their specific funeral needs. It took a misunderstanding for the project to take root when relatives of a Buddhist man wanted to claim remains after his cremation, according to practice, but found them ground to ash. A daughter's complaint prompted the Adelaide Cemetery Authority to work on Buddhist burial gardens with the Vietnamese community. We never know who to ask, what to do, the relevant person. It was an unfortunate event, but it's lucky that we, we know the right person. We asked, the, Lan asked uh, me to ask Robert, and I asked him, and said, oh, I'd love to do that. We can work together. And I saw the map on the wall that say that all the area in this cemetery, there's no Buddhist section. And I, I remember that as my master always said that he wished to have a section for Buddhists to bury in the cemetery. Three years later, and the Buddhist burial garden is ready with 115 burial sites and space for 280 cremation memorial sites. The feedback we've got and the working with them and the outcome, I think, just tells a story. And I said, I look forward to coming back, back in about 10 or 20 years and seeing what this looks like. I think it's going to be profound. The garden is also a sign of the state's continual growth in diversity. When we talk about Buddhism, you have people from uh, Vietnamese, from Cambodia, Sri Lanka and China who are all celebrating and uh, are Buddhists. And so this brings together that diversity within the religion as well. What's more, you don't have to be a Buddhist to come to rest at the garden which welcomes people of any faith. Chris McLaughlin, ABC News, Adelaide. An eight